What's going on guys, Frankie over here. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about using cost and bid controls, or another name for it is cost controls on Facebook ads. If you've been running Facebook ads for a number of years, you understand the risk that you can just set your budget. You, so you can build your campaign, set up, set up your ad account, build your campaign, set the products that you wanna advertise, and you set your daily budget. Facebook can just spend your daily budget without some form of expectation that is going to get you the outcome and the results that you want at the target at the target cost per acquisition that you want or the target ROAS that you want right that's the reality on Facebook that many people operate their Facebook ad account under again you build your campaign you set your audience targeting you got your creatives in there you got your product that you want to advertise right and you set your daily budget right so the one thing that you are is sure to happen is that facebook will spend your daily budget but the outcome the number of purchases at the target at the target cost that you need it to be profitable in your business that's that's not guaranteed right and so again that's the that's typically what most people operate under right and so and essentially using cost controls and what we're going to talk about in this video i'm going to show you essentially how you can guarantee right to a large degree guarantee facebook that you get the outcome that you want to be profitable for your business right? before we dive into this i'm going to dive into one of the facebook ad accounts that i manage using cost controls using cost controls and show you essentially what that looks like and to show you how this is even possible and how it can be possible also for your business right? in an ad account here that i manage so i'm looking at the last 30 days over here right so you can see that a number of campaigns that i've launched over here is using cost controls right and essentially all of them are using min row ass right and we're going to talk about in a moment just what min row ass is right so if you look at this first campaign over here i've set a target return on ad spend of a 1.8 right now this is the out this is a 1.8 is what i need to be profitable for this product skew that i'm selling right and anything under that is like i'm not profitable right and anything obviously anything above that like meaning like i'm winning the game right but first it has to come with establishing like the rules of the game that i need to win and how do i lose right and so to win the game for me and again we'll talk about in more details what that looks like to win the game for me meaning to be possible within this specific product margin product that i'm selling i need a 1.8 return on ad spend right and so essentially what i do is when i'm building out this specific ad, this specific funnel or this specific pipeline or campaign i'm, I'm setting my target return on ad spend at a 1.7 right right now i just recently launched this campaign it's not yet where i want it to be right it's not yet it's not yet where i want it to be Right. So this is one. This is one example of using a cost, a, 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 a cost controls. Right. And this one is using mineral ass. Right. And another one in another campaign that I recently just launched a couple days ago. Right. So I set a target return on ad spend of 1.7 because that's what I need to win for this specific the, the product profile for the specific profile of this um, product that I'm selling, right? If you look at that, I'll set a target row as a 1.7 and we're at a 4.36 return on ad spend, which is obviously I'm like killing this game. I don't need a 4.36 to be, to be, to be profitable, right? But I, I'm crushing it with this, right? So that's just another example. So if, if you look at the, like the setting of the specific, of the specific ad accounts, the specific campaign. So I've set a target ROAS right here, as you can see, a target ROAS of a 1.7, but I got off a 4.7, 4.7 something. It, it was 4.36 actually it was, right? So again, I'm crushing this campaign. I'm crushing it here, right? And another example is this specific campaign over here, right? This is a summer sale for this account that, that we're running. And I've set the target ROAS on this to be a 2.0. Right, and as you can see, it's at a 1.70. Right now, in this specific scenario, I'm not crushing it nor am I winning at the specific target that I need. Right, but again, this campaign is relatively new, so with more data that this the, the this this campaign accumulates, right, with, with the more data that it accumulates, I will, I will eventually get to that 2x return on on ad spend. Right now, I'll show you other examples as to I've set a target row ads, but then. Facebook won't even spend my daily budget because it doesn't think that I it doesn't think that it can acquire customers at that rate that I set it right. Meaning, based upon the, the combination of the creatives and at the product uh, profile that I, that I have, 
the product, the, 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 the product margin profile that I have, it's like it basically doesn't think that it can acquire customers for me. So it won't spend my budget if it doesn't think that it can acquire, it can acquire the customers for me at the target that I need, right? And so just to show you an example of what that is, so I'm gonna look at last month. So we'll look at last month and some of the cost controls campaigns that I've launched. So we can look at this one, for example, right? Here's one where I turned it off because I wasn't getting the outcome that I was looking for, right? So I turned that off because Facebook wasn't giving me the outcome that I was looking for, right? And so I spent $326 on this one and then eventually turned it off because I wasn't getting the outcome that I wanted it to, right? So now let's look at another one. Let's look at another one, right? On this specific one, right? So I set the, I set the target. So four hundred and fifty dollars daily that I the daily spend that I've set right four hundred and fifty dollars right and I set the target row as at three now as you can see Facebook didn't even spend a penny here Facebook didn't spend a penny because this target that I set of a three X was too high regardless of how much budget daily budget that I put in here even if it was a thousand Facebook would likely won't spend it because the target was just too high right so essentially what Facebook is telling me is like the combination of creative and the product that I'm selling at that AOV and with the essentially using this formula of like the expected click through rate and the expected engagement like i just wouldn't get the outcome that i want so it didn't spend the, it didn't spend my, my, my uh, the budget right now if we were, if i was using the default optimization strategy which is highest volume and lowest cost facebook would have spent 100 450 dollars every day but the outcome the the outcome like it, this doesn't guarantee that i'm going to get purchases right now that's a bad investment and that's a bad essentially model to, to use, right? And the reality is that this is what a lot of people are, are doing when running Facebook ad, right? They go with the default setting of using the highest volume. The default setting when you run a Facebook campaign is using the highest volume at lowest cost, right? So essentially with that is you're telling Facebook that, yeah, I want the highest number of purchases that I can at the lowest cost, right? And then you set your, your target budget, how much you want to spend on a daily basis, right? Facebook will spend the whatever how much whatever that, that daily amount is that you set, it will spend that, but it doesn't guarantee you the outcome or the results or the purchases or the target return on ad spend that you need to win the game that you essentially set for yourself, right? Enough said. Let's